In this video, we're going to discuss how to assign variable labels and how to create and assign value labels. So the first thing we'll start with is opening up the data set. Click on your file icon. Choose the data set that you want to open. We'll choose the choice data set. Click open and you'll notice that you see in your results window that the data set has been opened. The first thing that I always like to do is open up my data browser and make sure that the data looks appropriate. All right, so we're going to close that and open up the variables manager. That's indicated by this icon up here in the icon toolbar. Okay, so what we see here in the variables manager is a list of all the variables that we have, any labels that are associated with them, the type, the format, and any values that are associated with those labels. On the very right hand side are the variable properties. So the next thing that I'd like to show you is how to add a label to a variable. The first variable that we're going to deal with is the choice variable. So if you click on the choice variable, you can just go over to the variables property window and click in the label box and assign a label to that variable. We're going to call this variable lease. Say for example, whether somebody leased or bought their vehicle and simply click apply. You'll notice that on the left hand side of the variables manager window that this was applied to the choice variable under the label column. Now the next thing we want to go do is add a label to our first variable. So we're going to click on first, go over to the label box under variable properties and we're going to give this a label, a more descriptive label of first time buyer. First is not a very descriptive variable name and our labels want to be something a little bit more descriptive so that we understand what our variables actually mean. Then we go down and hit apply. So now again we see that under the label column this variable label has been applied. The next thing that we're going to do is we want to assign value labels to our variable. In order to do this it's a multi-step process. We first have to create the the value label and then assign the label to a variable. In order to do that we're going to first create the value label and we do that by clicking the manage button. You'll notice that a new window appears and what we have to do is click on create the label. Now we're going to create a label that can be used for multiple different variables. This is often true say for a label such as yes, no, zero, one. That can be applied to several different kinds of variables and that's what we're going to do. The value name is going to be called yes, no and we're going to give a value then of zero and the label will be no and then we click add. Now we have to assign what the yes value will be and we go into our value box and type in one then go down to the label box and type in yes and then we click add. So you notice that on the left hand side the value of zero is assigned a label of no and the value of one is assigned a label of yes. Now we click OK. Again we're back to our manage value labels window and we see our value label of yes no. If you click cross icon then it'll expand what your value label values are and again you can easily see that zero is no and one is yes. This is a great way to check what your value label options are. Now you can go on to create another label. You can edit your label if after checking you see that you've assigned a wrong value or you can drop the label if you no longer want to use that value label. Now we're going to close it because we want to go ahead and assign this value label to a variable. If I don't assign it to a variable then I'm not going to actually be using it in my data. Before we actually assign it I want to go back to the data browser and show you what our data look like before and after assigning a value label. So let's close our variables manager, go to our data browser, browse, and what you'll see is if we look at our first variable column, these are all first time buyers, yes, no, but this is entered as numeric data and again I want you to remember that numeric data and stata are always shown in black numbers also for choice. Remember, we gave this a label of lease. 
These are numeric values, so they are shown in black numbers. Let's go ahead and close that, open up our variable manager, and now we're going to assign our value label to our variable. Let's start with first time buyer. Now we go ahead and assign that value label to our variable by choosing the variable that we're interested in. We chose first time buyer. Then we go over to the variables property window and we choose this down arrow which will give us all of the value labels that have been created. So far we've only created one so yes no is an option. We choose yes no and then we click apply. What you'll immediately see is on the left hand side of your window under value label column yes no has been populated. So for the variable first the label is first time buyer and the value label is yes no. What I'd like you to see now is if we go back to the data editor browse under the first variable the values are now blue instead of black as they were before and instead of seeing ones and zeros you see no's and yeses. They're still stored in, in Stata as ones and zeros but it's just easier for us to read and for print out and to print out our tables with no's and yeses. And this is how you assign variable labels and value labels to variables in Stata. Thanks for listening.